so we'll talk a little bit about this later or one aspect of it but um as i was walking to the store today i was feeling very athletic and i, I like feeling athletic i don't really like being athletic if that makes sense um and um holy spirit just said to me you know but i think it's the same with how lately you've been approaching um just your spirituality you know like you know in your walk with me is that you like feeling if i can say you like feeling christian um but you aren't necessarily being christ-like um or being a christian and the only difference or re really the difference that was highlighted to me between feeling um like a jesus follower and being a jesus follower is not intention unfortunately not <laughs> But it, it's effort, like, it's really easy to feel like a Christian when you wake up early on a Sunday morning, you prepare, you go to church, when you're in front of people, you're just like, oh hey, you know, don't speak like that, don't do that, don't say that. So, it's easy, and it's not about, like, understand me, I'm talking about feeling Christian, I'm not talking about looking Christian, right? So, you do enough just so that you can feel like, yeah, you know, Jesus and I, were good. Um, but, being Actually, being a Christian is a different thing, right? Because, again, it boils down to this whole relationship thing. It comes down to, okay, well, are you putting in the effort, you know, into the relationship? Do you make sure that you see him? Do you make sure that you talk to him? Do you make sure that you spend time with him, etc., etc.? And um, I think this morning I'm just, I don't know, I guess, I guess for me, I think I'm just encouraged again. Or, you know, it's just like a, I'm prompted again, if I should say. I'm prompted again to really just consider the, the the effort that I put into um, being with Jesus, you know, because it really is, like sometimes it's so easy to just kind of get comfortable in the routine of what you do during quiet time, when you have quiet time, how you do quiet time, um, you know, even, I think for me it's even like how we spend time during the day and stuff, it's just, you know, it's, sometimes it just feels like, you know, like we really are all friends and there's, as much as familiarity can, um, as much as familiarity can, what do I say, can influence um, a relationship that you have with with someone and kind of leave him feeling taken for granted or leave you feeling like you're being taken for granted, I think it's really important that we also kind of just, you know, think about it and, and just be like, okay, well, you know, like, um, Yes, I love Jesus, and yes, I'm, you know, I'm all for him, but am I really, you know, like, does he, does he feel, you know, is he aware of how much I love him, and, and how open I am to his feedback in my life, how, um, how difficult life gets sometimes, how great life is sometimes, um, and all that, and really just, you know, when we say we're, we're doing life with Jesus, and we're walking through life with Jesus, it's, it's not just a thing of, okay, well, you know, I'm aware of Jesus, and Jesus there, and biblical principles are at the back of my mind. I think it's a lot more than that, and the easiest way I can really say it is, you know, just look at some of your closest friendships, um, you know, look at the, or just look at some of your closest relationships, whether it's a spouse or a boyfriend or whatever, whoever you might find yourself, because it really is, if we're not putting the effort into to building that relationship and growing it and strengthening it, then we'll walk around and we'll just be feeling more Christian forever. So, yeah, let's be Christians, y'all. <laughs>